Hello friends, in the last few sessions, we saw the docker file run, cmd and entry point instructions. Now friends, in this session and the next session, we will discuss the leftover items regarding these three instructions. So friends, here we will see how the cmd and entry point instructions can be used together for better outcomes or better results. And then friends, in the next session, we will see the two ways of executing the commands in docker file using these three instructions that is executing the commands in shell form and executing the commands in exec form. So now friends coming to the first point that is when both cmd and entry point instructions are specified in docker file then whatever values passed to the cmd instruction becomes an argument to the entry point instruction. And friends, along with cmd and entry point instruction, if arguments are also specified in docker run command, then values passed to the cmd instruction gets overridden with the docker run command arguments. So friends, this combination of using the cmd and entry point instruction together in one docker file is very effective and impactful as because of this we can pass the actual command needed to be executed inside the entry point instruction and then we can pass the default arguments to the executable command of entry point instruction inside the cmd instruction and also friends if we want to run the entry point command by passing the dynamic arguments at container runtime that is with the arguments other than the default arguments which are present in cmd instruction then friends in that case we can also pass the arguments in docker container run command. So friends now let us understand this with the help of an example. So for this let us again take a very simple docker file and friends I have created a folder with name entry point 3 in my system and kept here one of the very simple docker file which we created in the previous session. So let us go to the entry point 3 folder and let us open the docker file. So this is the entry point 3 folder friends and this is our docker file and here we can see that this docker file is same as the one which we used to show the first demo of the entry point instruction. So here friends echo is the command which we are executing inside the entry point instruction. So now let us write the default argument for this echo command using the docker file cmd instruction. So let us also write the cmd instruction in this docker file. So cmd and now let us pass the default arguments for the echo command of entry point instruction here. So let us give the default arguments as hi I am here to provide the default arguments to the entry point instruction. So friends with this our docker file is ready now and so let us create an image and run the container from this docker file. So let us go to the command line terminal again. And here let us change the current location to the docker file location. So cd and then g colon docker files and then entry point 3 folder. And now friends let us build an image from the docker file present in this location. So docker build hyphen t and here let us give the image identification as entry with cmd image 1 and then finally we need to specify the dot symbol. And now let us press enter to execute this command. And here with this the docker image got built successfully. So now let us run the container from this image. So docker run hyphen hyphen name. And here let us give the container name as entry with cmdcon1. And then the image identification which is entry with cmd image1 in our case. And now let us press enter to execute this command. And here we can see the output of this containers execution as the message which we pass to the cmd instruction as an argument to the echo command of entry point instruction. Hi, I am here to provide the default arguments to the entry point instruction. Now friends, let us run another container with the same image. But this time let us pass the argument to the echo command from the docker run command. So let us go to the previous docker run command and here let us change the container name first to entry with cmdcon2 and now let us pass the argument here in this docker run command 
So let us pass the arguments message as Hi, I am here to override the default arguments given in the CMD instruction. And friends, with this, now the docker run command is ready. So let us press enter to execute this command. And here this time, we can see that we got the containers execution output as the message which we passed to the docker run command and not the default argument which is present inside the docker file cmd instruction. So friends with this we have seen how we can use the cmd and entry point instruction together in one docker file to give the dynamic results according to our need each time a new container is launched. So friends with this let us stop this session here and let us discuss about the two ways of writing the commands inside the docker file in the next session. So see you in the next session. Till then take care. Tata. Bye bye.